So we're going to give an update on what we're working on in the lab. Uh, forgive the video quality, I'm the only one here since it's summer and students disappear. So we've taken a 3D scan of a recipient's hand, um, and current Enable devices don't really work very well. If you have uh, some residual fingers left, and uh, maybe a pinky and a thumb as this person does. You kind of need to size the hand up to be uh, impractically large to accommodate these. So you kind of lose a, a sense of scale um, for um, getting correct proportions. So what we're working on in my lab is working on something like, like this. So we've taken the 3D scan and we've kind of molded a um, customized gauntlet around it using a free program called Mesh Mixer. And this is our first result. So we get something out and we have fingers. These are basically flexi fingers that we attached onto here that attach onto this hand. And this particular recipient likes hearts and wanted a heart on, on, their, on their hand. So we did that. Um, what we're finding with this is, is our printer can't really print the um, orientation. So you see the fingers have this attachment and it gets kind of, um, gets a bit rough up there at the top. Uh, so that makes it uh, more challenging to print. So what we've done is we've kind of taken this idea and we've uh, created the gauntlet. So we create the gauntlet as a separate piece. Uh, we basically use Mesh Mixer to create a gauntlet that customizes to the individual's actual uh, 3D scan. So there's room in here for these residual um, kind of fingers that you see up here at the top. Uh, we can't really show you on the inside, but there's there's spacing for, for to accommodate these uh, these leftover fingers, and then there's spaces for the pinky and for the thumb to go. And basically, we just took this customized gauntlet and we sliced off the finger attachment joints for the flexi hand from Steve Wood, uh, and we have flexi fingers that we can print very reliably um, that just pop right in. So then we can attach our flexi fingers onto our customized gauntlet and get a working hand. Um, this is uh, about the 10th iteration that I've done of this. Um, so we're getting it down to a slightly better technique, a better method. Um, so far, only one of those iterations has gone to the recipient who said that uh, the, the gauntlet was a little bit too loose. So we're working on tightening that up for them. And basically, all we do is their hand will slot into the gauntlet. Uh, so the hand, we printed this in NinjaFlex. Um, we should probably print it a little bit more flexible because the actual hand has more flexibility than this. So I'm going to I'm gonna insert this into the gauntlet so you can see how it works, how it fits. Um, it's going to take me a, a bit more force than it will actually take the recipient because they, they have full motion of their fingers. So, so I'm going to struggle a little bit with it. A recipient would likely not have as much difficulty. So we can get our hand into here. So there we go. And we have our customized gauntlet that goes in with our hand and our fingers can just pop right into the, um, to the joint slots uh, that the flexi hand has built in. <laughs> We have internal channels that we've designed in using Mesh Mixer. So all the wiring will be inside of this back portion of the palm. If you look very closely, you can kind of see that this upper part of the palm is kind of a little bit taller than the bottom part. That's to accommodate those little channels. Um, and we've got a nice kind of converging to an approach to make a customized device for people that have fingers. Um, we're gonna work on some lining to make this more comfortable for the recipient. Uh, my plan right now is to try to use some smooth on, um, kind of brush on body safe silicon um, for, uh, this is used in, in prosthetics, um, movie kind of makeup. So we're gonna see how this works, if this makes it more comfortable. Um, I'm a bit concerned that this is gonna be scratchy on the inside. Uh, we have to print this with support, so it could be, uh, could be a bit uncomfortable. And we're gonna try to improve that comfort because uh, comfort is key. And then the final thing I want to point out is that anybody out there can do this pretty pretty easily, pretty reliably, using this printer right here. So this is the Micro M3D printer. Um, and you can buy this now online for about $200. And all of these things that you see before you, this guy, this guy, the, the 3D scan of the hand, um, 
and all the fingers, these were all printed on this micro 3D printer using their Tough Ink, which is a version of, it's their iteration of, of kind of NinjaFlex. So it has nice flexibility. You can see that in the, in the finger joints. Um, but it's very easy to print. It prints very reliably. Uh, much easier than uh, NinjaFlex, which requires a special extruder on something like the, our Lulzbot Taz. And this is what we're getting out of the Lulzbot with our NinjaFlex. So you can see that the $200 printer is doing just as good, if not better, than the um, than the, than the uh, $2,500 Lulzbot that we have. Um, so I've kind of changed gears to do the modular hand that can have different attachment uh, fingers. My thought is you could use uh, different attachment techniques to get um, different customized uh, task-specific devices very easily um, that would fit very nicely with this uh, this nice custom um, fitting uh, approach that we have in Mesh Mixer. And the nice thing is Mesh Mixer is free to use, um, so you could recreate all of this uh, pretty low cost, so it would work well for schools. Again, the printer is about uh, $200. The uh, tough ink that we use to create these, so all of these pieces that I've done, these guys were all on this micro 3D. That tough ink spool was about, um, I think it was about $30 for that amount of tough ink, and there's still about half the spool left. Uh, so it's pretty cost effective too. Um, if you have ideas for how to make the gauntlet more comfortable, and how to make sure that this uh, doesn't aggravate the skin that um, it will be touching against, uh, let me know. Or if you'd like to collaborate and work on this kind of project with me from a distance, um, feel free to let me know too. Um, hope you enjoyed. Bye.